We're live. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the show. Wow. John, where have you been? <laughs> What's our intro segment? Where has John been? Oh my god. <laughs> where in the world is is John Wheeler? That's my favorite Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> I was in Portland, Oregon. All right. How was that? Fun. Uh, I went for a convention, so the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Did you go to Voodoo Donuts? No. Did you go to that giant bookstore? No. Did you go to Ground Control? No. Okay. We were within walking distance of pretty much anything we needed, so we never really went anywhere else but the convention and for food. Foodie Donuts has food. True, but it wasn't near where we were. <laughs> I don't know where Foodie Donuts is, so I can't say one way or the other, but Ground Control and that bookstore are pretty close to each other. I've been to mm-hmm. those two things. It's a giant bookstore. I forget what it's called. I hope it's just called Giant Bookstore. No, it's called... It, that, it's, that would be kind of fantastic. It's, yeah, I forget what it's called, but it's like two blocks big. It's pretty huge. Okay, how was the convention? Uh, the convention was pretty good. Uh, what's, what's the relative size of this one? Uh, you mean attendance wise? Sure. Uh, last year they had four thousand. I don't know what the finite numbers were this year, but they're ex- they were expecting around five thousand, so I assume they got close to that. That's that's pretty small. Mm. Cool. It was nice and quaint, but the majority of it was vendors, anyways. It was basically like a a vending expo. Oh man, it was like the the uh, red and white convention thing you went to in Calgary. Yeah, but this one was uh, every table sold video games. Hmm. Okay, instead of toys and comic books. Yeah. <coughs> well, <coughs> I'll apologize as well. I'm also feeling a little under the weather. Uh, Ebola, right? Yeah, that's Isn't what that it was. Topical. Clearly. God damn mm-hmm. it! Now everyone knows yeah. it's uh, October twenty third, two thousand fourteen. <laughs> This is the day John died. <laughs> yeah, I saw a, a pretty good infographic on Twitter uh, that said more Americans have been married to Kim Kardashian that have died from Ebola. Wow. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty Something good. Something to think about, at least. The sanctity it's, of it's, marriage and all it's that. It's more of just, well, it's more of just like a, because everyone's freaking out and it's just like, hey guys, calm down. It, not a ton of people have this. That's pretty good so. news. I mean, you're more likely to get married to Kim Kardashian than get a Ebola. <laughs> so. Your chances are higher. <laughs> That's great. That's good. Um, John, uh, yeah. So in te- before you tell us what you were playing, tell us mm-hmm. more about the convention. What, who, who did you hang out with? What did you do there? What did you buy? Well, I bought a lot of games, like a lot um like what tell me a name of a game that you bought uh rad robot alchemic drive it's a it's an enix game where you play as a a boy in in control of like a giant robot that's going around fighting other giant robots and monsters but you view it from the ground like you control everything from the ground you have to run around the town making sure you don't get killed in the process while trying to control this robot to save the city okay What's this for? I'm going to guess like N64. PS2. Oh, man. Okay. It was just before the uh, the crossover. Yeah, I was going to say, like, is, was Enix still yeah, just, by itself? Just, just Enix. But all the way into PS2? Really? Well, okay, remember, it was after Final Fantasy X came out. I didn't and, know that. Like, I didn't know the exact point. So Because the first, the first couple prints of Final Fantasy X were Squaresoft, and then later on it became Square Enix prints. Whoa, that's crazy. Are those copies, like, super rare? Don't think so. You got like a first edition. You got a square soft. I, I don't. I don't think Black Label Final Fantasy X is considered rare, but I don't know. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um. Yeah. Like I just. I think I picked up like seventy something games. Jesus. What? Okay. Yeah. That well, mo- most. It was, a lot of them were fairly cheap, like five bucks. Okay. Okay. Because the one thing about Portland is that's still uh, like f- almost four hundred dollars in games. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, Oregon does not have sales tax. So, like, don't worry about taxes at all. Mm. No. Oh. So everything you bought was just face value. Oh, my phone is telling me that we just went live. 
Oh, glad your phone's on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ran around with a bunch of friends there. I was hanging out with my friends, uh, Luca Jen and Picol. And then I bumped into a bunch of guys I knew there who were guesting. Uh, Pro Jared, Brutal Moose, uh, Space Hamster, and Peanut Butter Gamer. So we hung out with them all weekend. It was a good time. Cool. Except it's been a little crummy since I've been back because uh, my computer broke. This is one, on one of your computers broke. Yeah, this is on the other computer, so which is why nothing is set properly. I can't even see you, so yeah, things are not set properly. <laughs> <laughs> that okay, in your condition, that's just Skype. Skype's great. It's so I love good. Skype. Skype's such a good program. Mm -hmm. So I like Portland. That's a cool place. Would you go back to this convention? Yeah. Okay. Should they make PAX Portland? It's literally like a three-hour drive from Seattle to Portland, so probably... Hey, I can see John! Whoa! What did you do? Nothing. I've been, I've been like this the whole time. Man, that is, your camera's so different. I know, because it's a <laughs> it's, different it's computer. It's almost like someone put like a brown screen <laughs> in front of you. Like... You like right Why now. Don't even try. This is Why like the Twilight try? Princess <laughs> yeah. of looking at John. Or like Gears of War or something. Yeah, or like <laughs> Grand Theft Auto <laughs> Four. Like I'm like I'm just it's just dish soap, just just lots of dish soap. How I are you able to it. breathe? I like cleaning my laptop in dish soap. I'm sorry. Well, it dirty dish soap. This is brown. No, oh, I'm sorry. I, well, I need to wash like the dishes. To this is dish soap. this is the exact opposite of in the commercial where they put a drop of dish soap in the greasy water <laughs> and, and it, it goes like, away. It goes yeah. away. It goes all to the sides. <laughs> That's not Here's, happening here. It it must just be the lighting in the room. I'm pretty sure because I use this web brown for brown light bulbs. Yeah, I've seen them. It's an odd choice, but you know I I, I use this in a podcast like two three weeks ago. The same laptop. I didn't change any settings on it. Okay. Yeah. Brown podcast. It's small. I mean, <laughs> brown podcast. It's the brown podcast. Yeah. Welcome to the brown podcast. <laughs> Everybody's brown. It's just yeah. like they're, yeah. That came off as maybe too racist, but anyway. I don't know. Anyway, John, what, like, I want to know all about what you were playing at the convention. I'm assuming you didn't just buy stuff. Technically, I had to buy stuff for two people, so a lot of my time was spent buying stuff. Great. <laughs> good. Okay. That's a good use of your trip. Fly all the way down there to buy some stuff. Well, that, that's what the expo was for. It's, it's a, literally a vendor show in a way. Like it's, it's how you get a like, shit ton of good games or like rare games. But uh, the other half of the expo hall was filled with arcade machines. Okay. Like on free play? Yep. Cool. So I played me some Windjammers. All right. I hear that game's pretty fun. That game is really good. And I wish that uh, the rumored Dive Kick Windjammers minigame would hurry up and come out. I've never heard of that rumor. Um, on one of the developer's feeds, they showed a picture of uh, Dive and I think Mr. N playing Windjammers. I feel like that's only because Iron Galaxies has this fun relationship with Giant Bomb. So they just threw that together. Mm, well, they said they were working on things. So, and then they showed that screenshot. So I assumed that to be. I was like, I I can't remember. I think it was like a GDC or something. One of Giant Bomb's like live streams. They had Dave Lang on the couch. For those who don't know, Dave Lang, head of uh, Iron Galaxies, and he's just like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I have an announcement. I have an announcement." He was also pretty drunk at the moment. He's like, I have an announcement. He looks directly at the camera and just goes, you will never have another Windjammers. Just straight face. Just deadpan the whole time. It was hilarious. Wow. Uh, Dave Link's so great. That guy's awesome. He's live streaming right now for kids, but don't go watch him. Keep watching us. Right. Because <laughs> this show's for you guys. Nice not, save. It's good. for kids. That's good. <laughs> yep. All right, so Windjammers, what else you play? Uh, I played this game that you were going on about last week called Killer Queen. 
Yeah, I, I hear it as a sight to see. So, so paint me a word picture of, of approaching this behemoth. Uh, it is two five-player cabinets connected together. Uh, it, the game itself is essentially multiplayer joust. Like five team joust, 5v5. Five five. Uh, right. Each team has to have one queen and the other... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. The other four players on each team are uh, drones, for lack of a better term. So the idea is there are three ways to win the game. One is you can go down to the bottom of the screen and move a snail into a net on uh, your side of the field. And if you can do right. that, you win, but uh, you can get knocked off of it, or you can get slowed down by drones like running into the snail and sacrificing themselves for the snail to eat. It sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it is pretty ridiculous. Um, you can also, there's also these little doors around the screen where if you pick up, uh, I think it was pollen was the idea. You can do two things with the pollen. One is bring it back to your base to try to win with an economic victory. If you, I think cash in like 15 pollen pieces, you win. Uh, but you can also put them into these doors and turn into a uh, soldier. I, I don't even know what you would call them. Bees, I guess. Soldier bees. What are you playing as? Uh, it depends. You can either be the queen or a drone. Oh, but it's and all I, bees, right? Is it? Is that it? I, is it I guess. I don't know. Because okay, Except for you the walk snail. around on you walk around on your feet. So like the only difference is the queen kind of looks like a queen bee or a hornet. So, but everyone okay. else is like running around like on their feet, and they just once they become uh, soldiers, they can fly. Okay, and you're like trying to hit people. Like, there's the joust recommendation. Yeah, like okay. basically, like if you're a, a knight or a soldier, whatever you want to call it, or the queen, you attack by hitting like them on top of the head, just like in Joust, like landing on top of them. Okay, so it plays like Joust, but you don't win like Joust. You can, technically, though. Uh, the third way to win is to kill the other opponent's queen three times. Okay. I think what I really love is that snail victory, because it's so <laughs> random. Like, it, it like there's is... basically this, like, you know, battle going on in the skies, and then the whole time is don't let this snail get to the other side of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to fly into the snail, do it. It's funny, we actually did like lose a match because someone just sacrificed themselves right at the end, and then uh, a drone kill came in and killed everyone. Great. Cool. I don't know, it, it was a fun game. Uh, if you have a good team going, it's really fun. But like, it's super fast. It was like a dollar for all your team members, basically. If, oh, that if, one you had to pay for? No, that's if it was like anywhere else. But like, it was on free play there. But if you wanted to play normally, hmm. it'd be a dollar for like your team of five. Okay, hmm. cool. That's a pr that's a pretty good price yeah. for sure. Mm. But you needed like it had to be. It's a versus only game. There's no AI from what I could tell. Sure. Yeah. No, it's like I have no idea if that'll ever come to like Steam. Who knows? I, it it seemed too simple to do to be a Steam game unless it was like a dollar Steam game, but it was fun for what it was. There's a lot of simple games on Steam. Yeah, I could <laughs> see them putting that out for like ten bucks or something. Maybe. So, but you know, you'd need ten people to play with. That's a that's a tall glass. Mm-hmm. So. Cool. Wait, did you play anything else? Anything else worth talking about? A bunch of other random computer games really or uh, arcade games rather like pinball big but you hunter. played the arcade game pinball <laughs> no i played big buck hunter pro pinball i played popeye saves the universe pinball cool What's, which one was your favorite pinball table did you play white water no it wasn't there not that i saw white water is great i love white water i still like the acdc pinball table but i feel like i'm biased because like it plays the music while you're playing and you pick the track yeah okay okay also play like donkey kong uh versus mario brothers stuff like that they actually had a punch out arcade machine there which surprised me i haven't seen one of those in ages okay cool cool but yeah just random what was the best thing you played the number one game or pinball table uh probably would be killer queen cool I, th I think there's only like four of those machines in existence. They had a sign on there saying that you could play it at ground control for a limited time. So Yeah, I knew it was at ground control. I knew that. 
And I think there's I think there's one or two of them in Chicago. But I can't remember exactly. No, I definitely know one or two of them are in Chicago. But yeah, I think there's only like four of those machines. So if you have a chance, I guess play it. Exactly, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much all I played because I just played a bit more Smash Brothers. That was it. That was your playing playing game? Yeah. Have you started Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright? No. Okay, just checking. Just checking in. Paul. So I guess I played I play more Hyrule Warriors, but that was it. Okay. Yeah, do you want to talk about Hyrule Warriors? <laughs> I mm. mean, like, I'm going to talk about it. I'll, just bring it. I'll bring it up when you do. But all I can all say right. is still, still enjoying it. I don't... How? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Paul... Yeah, uh, what have you been playing? Tell me about your games. I've been playing more Alien Isolation. That game is fan fucking tastic. So it's not too long yet. It's getting there. How much have you played? I guess like where are you at? <laughs> Maybe three or four hours. Oh, so the, yeah, you're nowhere near like this is too long. Near yet. twenty? Was, yeah, I'm not near twenty. I was thinking yet. like you'd be saying like at the ten hour mark, I want this to end. The thing is, I don't know at this point now if it's twenty hours of like if you were running through this and everything worked out, or if it's 20 hours because you have to be pretty slow and meticulous in some spots, otherwise you will get seen or spotted by the alien or, like, the synthetics or anyone else that's trying to kill you on this thing, and you will die. So, it might be, that might be why it's a 20-hour I I'm thing. pretty sure it's because of the pacing of how you have to I move. I think it is, too, because, like, I've been through, like, three areas... And each one has taken probably about 40 minutes to an hour of just, like, slowly going through. I got a bunch of equipment that's making it even funner. Like, the motion detector. It's so good. That little pinging sound. and there's... You, you need that damn thing. And it's so good because there's, like, field of view things, right? So when you have it out, that's what's taking priority. And everything, like that is up in front of you is kind of blurry and it's hard to make some stuff out in the shadows and stuff but you can also use the trigger or the for me it's the right mouse button to change your field of view to be focusing on what's ahead and not on the thing so you can go back and forth and it makes for a cool dynamic of oh shit like i heard a ping i'm gonna look at it see where it is and then you can switch to looking out in the open area and seeing if you can pinpoint where someone is and their pathing so you can sneak around them and all that sort of stuff. I kind of like how kind of helpless you are in the game. It's not that you're like not strong. It's that you can die super easily. Like one or two shots will kill you because you're just a human. Whereas mm. like synthetics, if you take them on hand to hand, they will usually just like grab your hand as you're hitting them with your like wrench and then just like, punch you or choke you to death and like smash your head in like it's so good everything about that game is the like alien love letter i've been wanting forever since i saw the first alien movie and it's just enthralling to see that they care that much about this franchise and they are letting me play this like kind of spin-off version of it other than that i've been playing borderlands the pre-sequel a little bit I played a little All bit right. of that. That's Borderlands, so... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Wait, what's wrong with Borderlands? It's kind of boring. Nothing. <laughs> Are you... Okay, here's a big question. Are you playing it solo or with a group of I people? I am playing with one other person, and it's fine. That's what's keeping playing us going. playing it solo. Okay. Like I always do. So we have... Uh, we can just... That was the last thing i was been playing, so we can kind of segue into what you think about it then. I've only played like the introductory part. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> I've sh I, I showed up on the moon and I made it into the girl's base. How do you feel about the? Oh, you haven't really played a lot with the like floaty mechanics then. No, not at all. Okay. Just the intro part. I I have so many other games to play. It was literally just like, oh hey, Paul got this. Let's see what it's like. Can it even run on my computer? It can. It looks terrible, <laughs> but my computer <laughs> will run it. And I was like, this is great, cool. Which class are you? I am Athena. The Which gladiator. One Which one is that? The one with, with... the shield. Oh, me hey, me too. Okay. I'm her as well. <laughs> okay. Like the one where you bring up the shield to block the attacks and you can like throw it. Yeah. So for the longest yeah. time, that wasn't fun. Like that, having that as my ability. I like Until it. Until 
there was like we got oh. into this kind of scrap and this badass guy was shooting us with a shotgun it's like no okay i got this put the shield up just like walk slowly up to him while taking all the hits and then fucking throw it at him and blow him up yeah you're just like yeah, i yeah, like that's it. so good it's after, pretty good yeah. after that one encounter i was sold on that character I was like, this I'm is kind great. of sad that there's no, like, siren equivalent. Yes, thank I, you. I always, I always played the siren in the first the, two games. The siren's the only class ever worth playing. Except the, Gladiator now is a close second. Yeah, like I'm always way into the magic. El- what What about Claptrap? I I didn't, I didn't play have the claptrap. patience to try Although, to be. Claptrap. What I've heard from Claptrap is all the characters in game also just can't stand him so a lot of the dialogue will actually change and they'll just be like oh fucking goddamn robot like all the time when he's saying something which sounds pretty funny so sure. um but i don't think i could play an entire game of listening to claptrap yeah. i don't think i'm i don't think i have the willpower for that fuck no 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 so but uh that is some more borderlands though i kind of like i thought that the like zero g or the low gravity stuff would be kind of annoying but they implemented the slam down like mechanic that you can use as like a basic melee thing which as the gladiator is kind of cool as well because it's like you're floating there's some guy below you you just slam down onto them and then use your sword as a melee attack and it just feels wait we have a sword yeah that's your melee attack it's a sword oh I have not used the melee attack. Okay. I usually use the gun. Yeah. There are. There <laughs> why would you? Do, why would you do that in a shooter? That's weird. There are laser yeah. weapons now, which are badass, and cryo weapons, which freeze enemies. Those are cool. Okay. I I bar- I played like thirty minutes, so sure. That game's fine. It's uh. It's less obnoxious than Borderlands Two writing style, I will say. So okay. I, that is a huge plus to me because it's- yeah, I had a we- I had a weird relationship with the second game where I played through the whole thing, bought the season pass right away, had such a hassle trying to download some of the season pass. I, I ended up getting the first piece of it downloaded, only played a few missions and then never even downloaded the rest. Sure. Like I'm like I'm that sucker that was like so excited. I bought the season pass and then didn't utilize it. So to I'm be, that guy. To be fair, though. Yeah, like. That's kind of on you anyway, though, because like the season pass for 2K for the Borderlands series is a really good deal because they always put out a lot of content and it's all usually pretty good if you're into the game. Yeah, like for the first one, I played everything. I have every achievement in that first game Mm -hmm. and I loved it. And I was planning to do that too, but I just like burnt out just immediately. And I remember that download process was just so awful trying to get those pieces of DLC, at least on the 360. Hmm. So, but like, yeah, if, if Borderlands is something you love and want more of, this is more of that. There you go. Sweet. I do like Borderlands. Yeah, it can be very good at its best and very fucking terrible at its worst. (laughs) Okay. So Borderlands. It's Borderlands. That's it for me. That's it for you. Okay. Uh. All right, we're sorry. I talked about I played, yeah. I played some Borderlands, the pre sequel. Um, I played a very little bit of a City Sleeps, just the first stage. You know, first you have to play three levels in one, so just that. Yep. I I'm having fun, I'm having fun with it. I don't know what your problem is. It sucks. <laughs> That's my problem. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why you would say that because it's like, not good. I I think the music's pretty good. The music is fine until yeah. you it isn't anymore. Which I'm fine that you shoot quick. with the music. That's fine. I feel mm-hmm. like whenever I put so the idols, um, they mix stuff up. So you so you start with the blue one and the green one. Blue is um, blue blue's is an attack. attack. Green is heal. And yeah. then depending on the type of idol you put it in, if you put it in a square one, yep. that's uh, like an area of effect attack. So yep. it'll it's it'll a do an area of effect attack, sort of thing, yeah. or it'll do like a pulsing heal. Yeah, and if you put it in the triangle idol, it works like a machine gun, like it targets enemies and shoots out. Yeah. Whereas the healing one shoots out random health pickups, and you have to sw- fly around and grab them. Right. And I love putting the blue one in the machine gun because it shoots out like really fast with the beat. Yeah. So it's like just like adding like 
like a kick drum into every song or something. Mm-hmm. So it just, I, I don't know. I'm grooving with it. I was enjoying it. I, again, I played level. I play, played the first stage on easy. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I, I had a good experience so far. But you know, I haven't played enough to really to really say. Sure. Um, and then <clears throat> I uh, finished Hyrule Warriors, and I finished up my review today. Put it up just before the podcast on Comic I'll have Bin. to read this tonight. <laughs> The game's not very good. I don't okay. enjoy that game. It's. I, <laughs> I, I, I looked up. I looked up the score. Should I say it or should I leave it for people to find? I don't care. You can say it if you'd like. He gave it a four out of, out 10. of ten. Out of ten. Yeah. I f- just. I I don't like playing that game. There's just so many things that prevented me from having fun with it. Like 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 we warned you multiple times in advance. Hey, you no, I like Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's. I wanted to give it a try. I like Zelda a lot. And that's, you know, there are some good aspects to it. If you like Zelda, they pull a lot of really cool things from the Zelda universe where you're like, this is cool. Seeing Ganondorf open up a treasure chest to the treasure chest opening theme is weird. (laughs) And that's kind of cool, especially when he just kicks it open and then grabs the treasure. You're like, all right, of course, that's how it would work. Um and leveling up your character is real great. The whole skill tree stuff with the badges, that's fun to progress through. But really? Cause I, that's, the, that's like the thing I hate. What's wrong with skill trees? What do you got against skill Be- trees? Because it takes so long to get the material you need to actually move on the trees later on. It, well, yeah, but that's how skill trees always work, is the further stuff down, the harder it is to get them. But yeah, but like it's like so specific. Like, okay, I need like a, the gold drop off of like Zelda. Okay, to get I guess if one. you're, like, trying to, like, max out the skill tree, maybe it would suck. I wasn't. Yeah. I was just like, hey, I unlocked a new thing. What does this do? I get a second special attack bar. That's significant. That's cool. Like, there was actually some significant upgrades. Keeps, you can, you can uh, collect them faster. That's great. Or whatever the hitbox thing is when, when, when they're, like, vulnerable. That goes down faster. Like, there were some cool upgrades. I'm glad it was meaningful and it wasn't just... Because, like, some of them, like, the first few you get are, like, now you can hit B again and the combo continues. Great. Glad I'm hitting more B or whatever your attack button is. But, no, they have some actual good upgrades in there, I thought. I liked uh, fusing weapons together to make them more powerful and whatnot and combining skills. That was cool. I kind of just enjoyed the loot system in general. Yeah. Mm. Um, that's definitely not something that's in Zelda. So, you know, loot's, loot's always fun. Um. But just just the aspect of like you there's you do there that game is so monotonous. It is a one note game. You run into a group of enemies. <laughs> you hit attack until the yellow bar fills up. Then you hit that button. Rinse and repeat for the entire thing. Like the the enemies barely even attack you. Do you feel just, that maybe it, it depends on the difficulty you're on? Do you feel maybe this is colored a little bit by you having to do a review and crunching down and just doing all of it, and not when you actually like just sat down and because like I'm still playing through it, but I'm playing through it at my time. It's like I could go for a little bit of this right now, put it down, and then go to something else after. Like you know maybe, but I feel on the other hand, mm-hmm. every time you come back to it, it is exactly the same That's thing. That's fair. Yeah. Like, it's not even just like, <laughs> we're going to throw a twist on it. You are going to do exactly the same thing. Even the other modes were like, hey, why don't you just do the same thing you did before, but mm-hmm. now you have only five minutes to do it. Right. Challenge accepted, I guess. But now there's no even like story thing to make me want to do it. It's just like, the, I've like never wanted to do a challenge room less. But, um, okay. And, and just like, I almost find like the maps are too big because constantly be like one of your buddies. Oh man, I'm, I'm doing pretty bad. I need you to come help me. You're on the other fucking side of the map. <laughs> I have to run all the way over there and then run all the way back because the thing told me that the Deku tree is about to light on fire. Well, I can only do 900 things at once, not 901 things at once. <laughs> like, oh, I just... And, and another thing that was annoying, the game just seems slow. Like, if you're moving at a at a speed faster than the game assumes you're moving, mm. there's a lot of times where you're sitting and waiting for all, like, the boxes to get checked. That... I, don't, I don't know if you encounter this, but it, often what would happen with me is if I ever failed and, like, retried the stage, it's like, okay, I know exactly where I need to go. 
So I would just run there, but I then I need to wait for the game to catch up and like, hey, it needs to tell me to go here. Then it needs to notice I'm here. Then it needs to notice that I already did the objective. So I'm just sitting there waiting for all of these like visual prompts to come up. Like, did this? Did you guys ever run into that? I never had that. That problem. only. I only bumped into that whenever I replayed a stage. Yeah, there was a few times where I had to replay the stage because. Here's another thing. Bosses somehow do so much damage to you. Like, it's insane that, that how much damage a boss, a boss can, Yeah, but it's insane how much a boss can do damage to you compared to every other enemy in the entire game. Like, an enemy, well, if they hit they you, if the enemy decides to, like, do anything besides stand there and get hit by me, they might take, like, a quarter of a heart off. One boss hits me, there goes four hearts. It's like, it is a what? boss. I, I, but I think the difference is it's like, it's like the difference between an ant and God. Like, that's it the difference. It is I, a I, boss. But I feel like a boss would be something like, like a human versus like, like a really muscular sumo wrestler. That's like a boss. That's a boss. Right? You know, there, it's like maybe two steps higher. Whereas, so how much it's, damage do you think the bosses should have done then? We'll ask that I question. feel like if a boss just normal attacks me, you know, like two hearts, and if they get a combo, eight. You know, four hits, eight hearts. Otherwise, it was like they do a combo on me, I'm down to like one heart left. Like it was, and it's just... Wait, what What boss were you fighting that you were just like the difference. It's just like, because like, you're in one mindset of you're, you're basically a god because no one even like... Like, the enemies barely even look at you. They're practically running away from you all the time. You shouldn't even w waste your time fighting the enemies. You should just run past them so you can finish the stage faster. But, yeah, it's, like, such a weird shift. You go from being basically invincible to, like, on... I don't know. I just... I didn't enjoy that game. I didn't have fun with it. What, what difficulty did you play through it on? Uh, just whatever the default. I guess normal. Normal must have been it. And you had that much of a problem with the bosses? I played through on hard and didn't I have know, that issue. I, no, no, I wouldn't say I, like I was having a huge problem with the bosses. It was just such a weird disconnect between the bosses and the entire rest of the game. I, like I said, I feel like that's how to make the bosses an actual threat. I feel like there should be like more of a threat then. Like, <laughs> wait, didn't you just say you were complaining they were doing too much damage? Now you're saying you want them to do more? My problem is the disconnect between. The entire game is a cakewalk, and then the bosses are, like, seriously difficult. Like, you need to, like, focus. They're asking in the chat, and I'd like to know, too, which boss. This was happening on multiple bosses. Like, I'm trying to think of one specifically. I remember when you, like, I don't want to get into spoilers, really, okay. but there was, like, a later game one that just, like, if they got a combo off on me, I was basically almost dead. And granted, I, I, I wasn't collecting a lot of heart <coughs> containers. I well, that wasn't. might also be your problem. Yeah, like, I wasn't looking for every secret. I was trying to finish the stage. Um, I, I feel like, like, my playthrough, there was only one boss that even gave me, like, proper trouble, not counting, like, the issue with the DQ tree, which that just fucked that mission. Uh, and that was the final boss. Isn't the final boss the, uh, the the spider dude on that mission? Like you have to use no, your no. arrow. No, the, the final final boss of story mode. Okay, sorry. What about him then? He was the only boss I had actual problems with. He's the only one that actually requires like like a lot of focus. I would say. Yeah, uh, I, like, I, but, I but he was the only one who was doing like all these combos and everything that you're talking about. No, I wasn't even that. Well, one. okay, okay, and, and I guess there is the the skyward sword one i guess i forgot how much of a pain in the ass that guy was to fight no the one, the one where you gotta stab too, the toes but that wasn't the one i'm specifically thinking of anyway whatever this is like a mute point now i'm just it, it just like it's just weird that i again my my main issue was just kind of the the weird disconnect between the entire game literally being a cakewalk and then just like the boss characters are actually like you actually have to focus and stuff where i would have preferred to focus on the whole game because I was so bored of that game. Okay. Um, but anyway, back to your real thing. Maybe, maybe because I did have to rush through it, that would obviously taint it. Um, that's just that's just reality. But I still feel like 
like, like I, how would you feel if instead of like doing it having to, to to be fair i wasn't like cramming into the game i was doing maybe like three stages a night i was i it was hard staying with that game but like how would you feel if that game was kind of your like anytime i just have nothing to do i'm gonna play a level game and you like stretch it out to maybe a month or if two I, with me if if i didn't have to play that game i wouldn't okay yeah fair <laughs> enough. yeah and to be fair like this isn't the first game i've had to rush through and I would say like really good games hold up if you have to rush through them as well. Like the game shouldn't require to, oh, well, just make sure you don't play me more than like 30 minutes at a time. Otherwise, I'm not fun. That doesn't sound great for any game whatsoever. So. Yeah. Mm hmm. OK. Four out of ten. Send your Four comments to Sean underscore Booker on Twitter. That's my Twitter handle. Bring it on. Um. And yeah, I'll be moving on to other games to review any day now. I'm I'm uh, almost done playing with Smash Bros. I'll probably write up that review sometime over the weekend or early next week. But Smash Bros. is uh, Smash Bros. is Smash Bros. John and I played some online. Yep. He he beat he beat me quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> should we get into the news? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to do the one piece of not Smash Bros. news, and then the rest will be Smash Bros. time. Uh, Hearthstone. It's coming to Android. Paul, how excited are you? Don't care. What? You're the Hearthstone guy? Yeah. And you have an Android phone? Yeah. Why do, why I don't also you have care? a PC that I've been playing that game on for two years. And now you can play it on Go. I won't. Okay, well... But anyway, it's also coming to phones next year. everybody else that's still excited It's coming to it. Android later this year, and it's coming to phones early next year, which that'd be cool. I would mm-hmm. play some of that on my phone. Sure. I'd like, I, yeah, play that on my phone. That game was fun. That's a cool bit. Um, all right, Smash Bros., everyone's been waiting for it. I can already see the chat literally exploding. <laughs> exploding about they're it. They're just like, they're like, oh, they're like, oh, God, please talk about Smash Brothers. And, and <clears throat> that's why we're here. We're, this is the Smash Bros., podcast um all we talk about is smash bros um do we want to say everything that was announced today how do you want to tackle this there was a smash bros direct attention so you're teaching me Um, all right i think the most important thing they announced was eight player smash brothers okay uh cool eight player smash brothers let's move on to questions (laughs) no you should do that there's a bunch of things (laughs) (laughs) They had a Nintendo Direct today where they said, we're going to give you 50... It was the 50 fact extravaganza for Smash Bros. And then they Bros. gave out 53 facts. And 53 facts. Yeah. Um, do you want to actually say all 53, or do you want to just kind of go through and pick up? A, a lot of them we can skip, like, oh, you can press buttons in uh, the Wii U version. Shit, really? When they, yeah. Did they announce that today? Yeah. Whoa! They, they, they announced what modes were coming over from the 3DS mode, and one of the modes they announced was literally buttons. But of course, it was like the the Smash Brothers announcers were like buttons. Yeah, he was he was excited about. Dude, okay, that was great. It. Having the having the announcer do the entire thing was pretty fantastic. I will agree with that. As someone <laughs> who records voiceover sessions for a living, that would have been kind of hell to go through. Um, I ca- I cannot imagine what he had to do, but I I would have loved to have seen that live. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try and, uh, go through it. Bigger stages. I guess they're bringing Hyrule Temple back. Uh, no. It says right here, number four, bigger stages like Hyrule Temple. <laughs> yeah, but the Hyrule Temple never actually showed up in the, the direct. Oh, they just said like Hyrule Temple? Yeah, like Palutena's Temple. Um, what was the other huge ones I saw? The Great Cave Offensive. And there was another big one. Oh man, apparently the Wii U version will have a much higher resolution. Whoa! Yeah, fun fact. They they even showed a comparison of the resolution of the 3ds one compared to the. Okay, some of these one. facts are like super dumb. A new feature I know. called Danger Zone. Some stages will have lava patches that hurt you, or oh, kill cool. you, or kill you. Great. Oh, I'm trying to find some of the good ones. Um, a Miiverse stage that'll highlight Miiverse posts for each Smash Fighter as you play. As someone who follows the Twitter account Bad Miiverse Wait. Posts, that's great. Wait, 
I'm being told by the chat that Hyrule Temple was in the direct. I rewatched it and didn't see it. You watched it twice? Well, because I missed the first half of it, so I went back and rewatched it. Oh, okay. I hate chats. I don't. Uh, I because I remember the the big focus was Palutena's temple. I don't remember seeing uh, uh, Zelda Temple. John, also, you're, I, I, every I person's really... chat is this. Here's a quote from Dismal Dimwit. John, you're wrong. Dismal Dimwit. <laughs> Dismal like dimly. I, I only remember seeing Palutena's temple, not Hyrule Temple. But if you can find me, uh, I, I will accept if I'm wrong because I know that's a really Palutena like stage. will add commentary when you play as Pit, not unlike Snake's Codex in Brawl. Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I hate Hyrule Temple. That's also kind of why I, I, I like Hyrule it. Temple. <laughs> I, I fucking Hyrule hate Temple. that stage. What's, what's wrong with Hyrule Temple? What do you got against? It's so Hyrule? bad, and matches take forever to end because everyone fights in the fucking middle of the map. See, and everyone just uh, you and, me, off are, the you and me are just on different chapters. You strike me as a person that would like Hyrule Warriors. I do like Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, there you go. There's a function what? called My Music that will let you set how frequently you want songs to appear during each battle. I'll be honest, I really wish that had been in the 3DS mode, but they specifically said it wasn't. You can change the menu music too. Wait, honestly, one of the facts is the Wii U version will have more music than the 3DS version did? Okay. More composers too. Some of these are not facts. I'm... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're more like it was more like selling points. Let's it was more like here's seventeen facts about the Wii U version. Uh, there was some like I watched like the, I watched maybe about a fifteen minute chunk of it. I'm trying to find ones that were actually interesting because there was some. You can use the 3DS as a controller too. All right, this is the part where I was in. There's a new mode called Special Orders in which Big Boss's Master Hand and Crazy Hand will give you unique challenges and commands. That actually kind of looks cool. Oh, okay, here was, the, here was the interesting one. The Wii U's version of Smash Run is a board game mode called Smash Tour in which you'll compete on a big old Mario Party style map collecting fighter, fighters and items as you move your Miis around the board. That seemed interesting. Like it, That mode I, seemed pretty cool. I actually don't really like Smash Run, so this seems I kind of... Would I would like Smash Run more if it was, uh, like, against people. Like and because like it has to be stage. locally played. <clears throat> yeah, I would just like a smaller stage, <laughs> ideally. Um, oh, god damn it! Temple is back. It was just called Temple, no wonder I missed it. Also, yeah, I fuck, still fucking hate that map. But I think they alleviated one of the problems I had with it looking at it right away, so maybe it won't be as bad. The okay, I can't, I'm not even at the point, but uh, you can use your microphone in chats. That seems like a no-brainer. That should have been in like every online Wii U game, so that's good. You'll be the, what, the, yeah, oh, you only okay. Talk to there's a stage the match and there's after. A, there's a stage builder. Wait, not in game? Yeah, now I'm seeing it. Are you kidding yep. me? What yeah, is this? Not kidding you. What? Oh, man. How do you get so close to the correct... Oh, my gosh. What is I think they, wrong I believe, I believe what they said in the Direct itself was to make sure they have the clearest online experience. They've disabled talk so there's less data that needs to be transmitted. Like... But last generation consoles could do it. The Xbox could do it, couldn't it? What? Could you, yep. you could voice chat in game. They figured it out. You, you could voice chat whenever you want on Xbox. Like, how has Nintendo not figured this out? That's oh Nintendo, my gosh. Nintendo not even like with your online. friends. Oh my, that's insane. That is insane. I believe the talking is only with friends, and it's bef when, before the match starts and after the match is done. I can't like that's like that's like getting ninety nine percent on a test. Like that's a kick that, in the nuts. That's pretty good, and ninety nine percent is a really good score. Uh, that might that might stage be stage builder. You're able to see. you're able to draw your own stage. I saw that. That looked really cool, actually. I don't think I really care. I didn't care much about the stage builder in Brawl. 
Uh, is there anything else you wanted to point out? Um, uh, the big one was Mewtwo was announced. Sort of. How do you sort of announce someone? Mewtwo, it, the, the pop-up on screen was Mewtwo is on its way. If you own both versions of Smash, so the 3DS and Wii U, you get Mewtwo for free when he's released in spring 2015. That's weird. I know, a little bit. That's a weird thing to do. So the way the, the direct was worded made it seem like that was the only way to get him, but a lot of people were thinking, no, there's no way. They would probably like eventually offer a price, but no one knows what the price would be for a new character, and they haven't announced any other DLC. They've just announced like a bunch of features that, that were listed here that aren't going to be in the game at launch. Oh, here is another, another one. Uh, there's another mode called Masterpieces, which are timed demos of classic Nintendo games that the characters come from. Like yeah, Super that- Mario World, Earthbound, Mega Man. Then once the timer's up, you can go buy them on the Wii U's virtual console. Yeah, that was on the uh, Wii version. That was in Brawl. That was in Brawl? Yeah. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Where was that in Brawl? It was in the Masterpieces page. It was I don't in- think I uh, ever played one of those. It was definitely there. I know. I did, did they have a Masterpiece for every character? No. That's weird. They should have it for every character. Well, they couldn't do one for Snake. So I'm just saying they should do one for every character. That would be cool. And in this case, like they probably can't do one for Sonic because I don't think there's any. Uh, Wait, Genesis. why couldn't they do one for Snake? Do there like no- Metal Gear. That was on the NES. <laughs> I'm saying the masterpieces should have been the first game that all these characters showed up in. It's like, you want to know where this guy's from? He's from this game. And then boom, you're playing random Fire Emblem for three minutes. Or you're playing actually just Xena Saga for three minutes. Xenoblade. Xenoblade. Isn't it Xenoblade? What is the, is Xeno Saga a thing? Xeno Saga is the one with Cosmos. There's Xeno Gears, Xeno Saga, and Xeno Blade Chronicles. Xeno okay. Gears was on PS1. Xeno Saga was that three game trilogy on PS2 with Cosmos. And Xeno Blade Chronicles is where Shulk's from. Okay. All right, I did not know that. Are you getting Smash Bros. on Wii U, guys? Yeah, easily. It's okay. the better version. Yeah, probably. Hands down. Hopefully, it's the better version. No, I can already tell from looking at it, it's the better version. It, it might disappoint you. It's, uh, well, as long as I can have friends over and play online with a better controller than the 3DS, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm kind of just looking forward to a better controller. Yeah, that's my only major gripe with Smash and the fact that there's nothing to do single player, really. This one also looks like it'll have a bunch of things that are single player because it's bringing back uh, event mode. And all like the special orders thing kind of looks interesting. Remind me what event mode was? Uh, where they would get you to do like a specific challenge, like as Bowser, kill, like, kidnap Princess Peach from Mario. So, like, defeat Mario before killing Peach. Stuff like that. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it for news, I guess. I didn't come across anything else to, I wanted to talk about. Mm-hmm. Let's go into all of uh, the questions. Yeah. Sweet. <coughs> Where do we send our questions? Uh, if people want to send questions, they can send them to topnumrespective at gmail.com. They can write to our Twitter account at TDP Podcast or the Facebook group is just search Top Down Respective. Uh, This first question comes from Wilson. Mm -hmm. He says, for all three of you, plans for getting Bayonetta 2 tomorrow? Yes. Yes. I already have it. (laughs) I find it funny they sent you the code today as in the day before it comes out. That happens frequently. Mm. Well, I thought it's usually like two, three days more, isn't it? It, it it varies. I've I've gotten stuff two weeks before it's out. I've gotten stuff a couple days after it's out. You know, it varies. I'm not picky. Gotcha. All I'm right. not gonna I'm not gonna complain. No no complaints over here. Everything's cool over here, man. Uh, the Juker writes something that isn't Smash. Those of you who play Payday, what do you think of Crime Fest so far and the Keanu DLC, aka Point Break? 
point break. So yeah, John Wick was the new character they announced for getting was it 1.5 million people on the the community for Payday Two. Yeah, that sounds about right. Something. Yeah. Like so I is it actually? I doubt it's voiced by Keanu. That'd be pretty funny if it was. I I have not played it, so I will state that because it only came out today. Yeah, I haven't either. Tomorrow, I will play that. Do you guys you guys plan to play it though? Yeah. I plan yeah, to play but they add, they added in like a new skill tree. They changed a bunch of things internally for the game. So you can't wait for John Wick. I'm more excited about Old Hoxton and the female heister. Yeah, agreed. Is what what is female heister? Does that just mean like playable girl? Yes. Okay. Is heister a real word? I don't know. Yes. Actually, is it someone who heists okay. a heister? Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know this one. Queso Ninjas <laughs> says, Hey, TDP, my homecoming was last week. So what was your homecoming moment, if you have one? I guess, what what was your homecoming like? What's a homecoming? homecoming so I little, I, we were a little I, confused about this because we don't call it homecoming. I think us. homecoming is graduation for us, like high school grad. I believe that's what the case is. If we're wrong... Uh, chat, please correct us. Um, do you guys? How was your graduation from high school? Like, what was that like? It was, we had a ceremony, and then we had like, uh, we did like speeches and stuff like that, and like gave out awards, and then we had like a safe grad. So it was basically our entire school was transformed with like all these weird like little mini games you could play and just like have a party with the rest of the, your class. M- mini have, games? Like, what? Like they had like sumo wrestling suits, they had like jousting gear, they had great. like Wheel of, for Wheel eighteen of year olds. Yeah, dude, whatever. That yeah. sounds great. It was fun. <laughs> okay, uh, what was your? What, did you get an award? Did either of you guys get any awards? No. I got this did. award that said you I, never I got, have to come back to bunch, school. <laughs> I got a bunch of scholarships, so because I was the male valedictorian. Oh, were you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Holy so, smokes! Look at you. So yeah, uh, we got to make a speech. The, both valedictorians got to make a speech and stuff like that. Was your speech awesome? Was it funny? No. Uh, here's the funny thing. Uh, we went, both had to write the speech, and then we we you went wrote the exact same like, speech. No. Uh, we we sat down, and then the, <laughs> that would have been really funny. <laughs> the female valedictorian literally said to me, "I'm going to write the entire thing. You just read out what I say." I'm oh like, man, you should have. Okay. You should have just read her speech after she read her speech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what we did, what I ended up doing was I took it, I wrote in some jokes, and then, uh, like, we were going to take turns with each, like, paragraph. But uh, when each we were on... Back and forth. Oh, my God. That would have been terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but while we're on stage, she starts like, yeah, well, no, we're not going to read all... We're not going to read your stuff out. I'm like, what? So we started arguing on stage be- about it before we even read it so out. So wait, she was like, don't don't make a speech. I got it covered. Then she showed up and she was like, oops, forgot your speech, loser. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. No, everything I wrote in, she's like, we're not going to read that out. What a bitch. What a bitch. Should have just like. I, re- I read it out anyways. So. Yeah, like as soon as she's about to say her speech, just like punch her in the teeth. <laughs> Wow, that's yeah, so that, mean. that would have gone that, over that's well. That's totally me. That's totally me, Sean. How did you know? I'm just saying, like, wh- who is she to say I'm not going to read your stuff? Be like, whatever. I'm going to read my stuff and your stuff. I'm going to eat your lunch. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't. Uh, what was your guys? I didn't get any awards. I should say. Um, what? <laughs> I wasn't the valedictorian. I remember. I wonder why I, punching. People I remember at my people. grad. My hat wouldn't stay on. It kept falling off whenever we were walking somewhere, mm. uh, which was annoying. No, no, that's just those motorboard hats really suck. Yeah, they're not cool. Um, d- did you? What was your grad song? Oh God, uh, I don't remember. I think it was that graduation song. Oh, vitamin C. I think that what might have been. C? That might have been oh, junior God. high. I don't know. Junior high yeah, was might, definitely. I, I can't remember. It, it might have actually been "Time of Your Life." It was one of the two. Oh, the Green Day Green song. Day. Yeah, yeah. It was either "Graduation" by Vitamin C or it was uh, "Time of Your Life." It was definitely Vitamin C for me. Which one is Vitamin C? 
What was that song? As like, we as we go. go oh, man. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. The, the totally... cliche graduation song. That is so the, gross. Literally named graduation. Ew. I got one word for you, and it's ew. That is that is a word. Ask You're me what correct. I'm thinking about that song. No. Is it ew? Yeah, it was going to be ew. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we figured it Mine, out. Mine, and no one wanted this, but I guess they had, like... Because we would we would frequently have like lunchtime meetings, like my graduating class, just be like, okay, this is what you guys are gonna have to do, or this is what you guys have to make sure it gets done. And I guess at one point, everyone left, and they were like, oh wait, we need to come up with the grad song. And there was like one kid left, and he was like, oh, what did he pick? That Journey song, "Don't Stop Believing." Amazing. <laughs> and when that showed up, we were all like, who picked this? And he was like, I did, and he was really happy about it. Oh man, we all hate that kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great song. That's a good song. Like, maybe the first time you heard it, but after everyone heard it for the 300th time, no one likes that song anymore. No, it's a good song. You're crazy. Not anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah, still, you're wrong. there's a reason people still play it. Because they're... That's that's not... Just because people are playing it doesn't mean it's a good song. No, it's a because it's a good song is why people still play it. Go listen to Adam Managuchi or something. Hipster. I plan to, and I'll do it. Go listen to your pleasantly. bleeps and bloops. Yeah, I we'll love let those the, bleeps. We'll and bloops. let the real men decide what music's good. Oh, that song is so overplayed. Okay, I can agree it's overplayed. Probably that song is so overplayed. We were all really upset. And knowing my guy, Clouds, we would have picked something totally stupid and funny. Like what? <laughs> I I don't I don't I don't know now. Like, yeah, I guess it depends. Probab what it was probably out. King Kong by Chameleon Air. <laughs> That's okay. probably what we would have picked. <laughs> if you see me, if you hear me before you see me, I got King Kong in the trunk. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, Chameleon Air. Chameleon Air. <laughs> remember that guy? Yeah. He... I remember one of his music videos, he had like a PS3 controller for some reason. Anyway. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, what? Was what, it Riding what, Dirty? Yeah, like in his car. In his he car. Had like, yeah, he had a PS3 controller that he was, like, fake playing. And it was like, what are you doing, Chameleon Air? <laughs> He's playing a game. Yeah, I guess so. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway. Next question. Um, <laughs> yeah, good question. Good question. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing cool dance part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hank writes... A lot. Game feel is something that can immediately break a game for me. And if I don't enjoy the act of playing a game, it's incredibly hard for that game to win me back. Mm. I have gotten a game, started playing it, and then gone, oh, and had an immediate desire to stop playing it. Has this ever happened to you? The immediate strong negative reaction despite going in with an open mind. Mm. Um, also, I have trouble trying to verbalize this kind of problem with a game. It's a particular issue when I try to talk to someone who did like the game. I'm not concerned with convincing them, just expressing myself without just saying, you're dumb and wrong. Braid, Braid plays like butts. I feel like, I feel like I'm holding two butts and squeezing them to try and get this guy to move around. I mean, that's just rude. What are your thoughts on discussing the issue with others? I'm trying to think oh, of a game I, that... I like Braid. Yeah, I didn't mind Braid. I didn't, I didn't think it played bad myself, so... Um, God damn! What's a, I'm trying to think of a game that I could say. Aiden this. Chronicles: The First Mage for N64. That's always your answer. <laughs> because it's like the only game I hate. That's <laughs> true. I feel oh. like there was a 99 Nights joke I could have made there, but it didn't, and you should all be proud of me. I'm well, so you made a reference to it, so I'm, I'm not yeah, proud of I'm, you. All I'm saying is everyone should give me a pat on the back. I'm, I'm Hyrule Warriors is jumping to mind with me, although mm. I kind of, like, you know, I had seen so much of about it and, like, gameplay footage of it beforehand. I kind of knew a lot of what to expect going in, which is, so it's not, that's not the best way to do it. Mm. But it was kind of more like, oh, yeah, this is d like Dynasty Warriors. Yep. <laughs> Trying to revisit Killer Seven again, just like oh, oh this I'm, controls I'm fucking terribly, that. and then I put it I'm down. I'm afraid to do that. Like it I enjoyed Killer Seven so much when I played it, I don't know if I could handle. Like it doesn't even it. matter the great bad stuff is. in that game; it's almost unplayable for me. 
I don't think there's many games that I've like picked up and then immediately just went like, nope. Like most of the time, I'll like give them a pretty good shake if I can. Especially I'm, if I bought them, I want to get some money's worth. A couple of people in the chat are reminding me that I hated Bubsy 3D. I forgot I had played that. So yes, that will be another game I will agree with because that game controls like ass. Mm. I'm trying to think of anything on like Steam that I just noped right out of. The when I replayed Mario 64, man. Oh really? I don't okay. like that game's control. Like I don't like 3D Mario's very much to begin with, but they actually figured out how to make that playable later on. I will say so. Revisiting that is a nightmare for me. All right. Next question is. Uh, Matthew writes in with the NPD numbers for September. This will be me then. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> One sec. <laughs> if I could stop coughing, I could do this. My thoughts exactly, John. <laughs> yeah. All right. Numbers for September: five hundred thirty-eight thousand PS4s were sold. These are all presumably North America. I believe that's because it's the NPD. Mm. Xbox One: two hundred eighty-four thousand. Three DS: one hundred forty-one thousand. Uh, interesting that it's that low. Or when did Smash come out? That was. First week of October, never mind. So that let's see how high that number is next month when we get the next month's NPD numbers. Wii U, 87,000. PS3, 45K. 360, 75K. Wii, 15K units sold. And the Vita, 20K. Everyone's just I, getting their Wii's, getting excited for Just Dance 2015. Yep. Oh, you know, man. It's the last do, one coming out. I, I do wonder how cheap it is to buy a brand new Wii now. Because I know that the Wii minis were 100 bucks when they first came out. You should get one. Should I really? Yes. Yes, you should. Get a Wii Why? Mini. Get a Why? Wii Mini. Because that would be awesome. It's for your library, your museum. Yeah. My, my museum. <laughs> what happens if you complete that museum, but you're missing the Wii Mini? And then everybody's just like, I'm going to go to John's house, or John's museum, because I know he'll have a Wii Mini. Oh, no. What? what? Who, he doesn't. Who in their right <laughs> mind would come to my theoretical <laughs> museum and be like, you don't have the Wii Mini. You don't have a shitty version of the Somebody Wii. Somebody who wanted to see the Wii Mini and knows nobody bought it, but they're like, I know John will for sure there's a have kid, it. There's a kid being born right now who's going to grow up, and he's going to be like, I'm going to John's museum for my <laughs> for my eighth birthday. Thank you so much. You just ruined this an is... eight-year-old's birthday. How do you feel, yeah, John? it's his birthday. It's eight years from now. I'm not worried about it now. Well, it, you should, because everyone matters. <laughs> Right? He may be small, but he matters. Oh. Anyways. Yeah. Destiny sold about 2.7 million copies. Uh, 300,000 300, of those, presumably, were PS4 bundles. Uh, mm. Without bundles, the sales actually were the uh, Xbox One sold the most at 35%. Right. PS4 at 33%, 360 at 23%, PS3 at 9%. I guess everyone just I used wonder, it as a chance wonder, to upgrade. I wonder why that the Xbox was winning. I like no like because PS3 sold more systems, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if people are just assuming because Bungie, maybe they just thought, oh, it's an Xbox game. Maybe it, it's entirely possible. Hmm. I don't know. It's funny because like Microsoft wasn't even allowed to technically advertise that Destiny was on their systems. They weren't. No, because. Uh, okay. uh, Activision signed an almost an exclusivity with uh, PS4 for advertising. Okay. Every ad that you saw out there for P for Destiny was pretty much PS4 only. Hmm. Uh, Super Smash Brothers. Wow, why is there already numbers for this? I guess this is so far this month. Mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, I thought these were the September numbers. And Smash That's Brothers what the email up. said. Weird. All right, well, recorded so far, Super Smash Brothers, 770,000 copies, 150K of which were digital. Hyrule Warriors, about 170K, uh, 190K if you count digital, so I guess that means roughly 20K. Mm -hmm. uh, FH2. Forza Horizon 2. Thank you. 120K, both versions. That's 360 and Xbox One. Okay. This, this year's FIFA, in between 600,000 and a million. Less than Madden, though. Uh, Madden is written down to have the exact same thing, in between 600k and a million. Uh, I thought FIFA always destroyed Madden. Usually, hmm. yeah, interesting. But th but this is the North American numbers, so that's why well, worldwide FIFA always wins. Yeah, Europe, Europe will just more. destroy it. Yeah. 
Uh, Shadow over Mordor, 350,000 copies. Mm -hmm. Mario Kart 8, 60,000 copies, including digital. Uh, DR2. Which was uh, DR2? Yeah, that's uh, that's got to be Dead Rising 2. I was I thinking Danganronpa. That, I know that's not. The Danganronpa 2 seems the most uh, logical with the 12K. And the new Theatre them sold 25,000 copies so far. And that's it. Okay. Chris writes. No. Since you Zerbis, probably... Zerbis says Smash 3DS was out two days during the NPD in September. Okay. Mm. Wow. That's, that's in two days. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chris writes, <clears throat> since you've probably already uh, discussed or been asked about the Smash Bros. Direct, I have a weird question about it. What or Most people probably noticed how the announcer overused emphasis and ended up shouting about half of what he said. Do you have any favorite lines from the Direct? Uh, thanks to the announcer emphasizing so much. My favorite was when he talked about voice chat and said, the Wii U gamepad has a microphone. <laughs> no, no, you gotta, you gotta have the right, like, announce it for like, the Wii U gamepad has a microphone! That's what it was the whole time. It was so good. I still think him saying buttons was one of my favorites. I didn't hear much, so mine would have been the microphone one because I didn't hear him say that. But uh, the way you shouted that just made me think of, like, old Justice Friends. Black Manta! It kind of was <laughs> like that. It was yeah. kind of exactly like that. Um, P.S. I wrote in a few weeks ago about how my Target store still had a Yoshi's New Island demo. Thankfully, they, cha they finally changed it to a Smash 3DS demo. No more annoying title screen music. Yay! Okay. <clears throat> uh, another Christopher writes... Two questions. The first being, since it's near the end of October, and as such, Halloween, I feel someone has to ask, what is your favorite romance in a video game? <laughs> wow, that was unexpected. <laughs> <clears throat> the love between Sw Slender Man and anyone he finds. Oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, no. Auto count and Sniper Wolf. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Otacon and Snake, because I would have agreed with that. That's, well, yeah. Got a good bromance, the bromance going there. The yeah. good bromance. Jo oh, now that we brought up Metal Gear, uh, Johnny and Meryl. Okay. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Nothing really. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, a realistic one. I'm trying to as well. Like, one that I was actually like, yeah, okay, sure. I, um, uh, this is so I, hard yeah like I'm just trying to think of games I played recently but there's not much romance in any of them mm -hmm. I, yeah I don't have an answer uh, second question congratulations all three of you and Nathan uh, okay are trapped in a room and have to complete uh, Dokapon Kingdom's story mode beginning to end in one sitting. Winner gets $5,000. Who throws the first actual punch? Probably me. $5,000 me. Oh, you what really think so? I punch Sean in the balls. I take your glasses off so you're blind, and Nathan cowers as I intimidate him to run out of the room. You forget I'm nearsighted. I just sit closer to the TV. <laughs> you also don't need to read much in Dokapon. <laughs> <laughs> what is Dokapan like awful or something? Why is this a No, it's good. Do Dokapan's actually pretty good, but it imagine Mario Party as an RPG. Okay. That's what it so, is. And now and now imagine it's 20 hours long. Ew. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't sound that's, very That's fun. where the that's where the challenge comes in. Ew. So. <laughs> well, I've I've never actually played a complete round of story mode for Dokapan. We've always took small breaks and then we just never came back to it because it was just such a long game. Yeah. Oh, people in the chat are saying uh, Leighton and his uh and his girlfriend. Sure. Okay. That's it's been a while since I thought about that. Which game was that? I think that was like the fourth one. <coughs> yeah, I think that was in the fourth game. 
And that's and that's for the first time you see Leighton take his hat off. Anyway. Andrew writes with our last question for this show. Favorite scary game? <sighs> Fatal Frame 2. Like or a- Silent Hill 2. Alien Isolation. It's fresh in the mind. Are you talking about games that just scared me at some point? Bioshock 1, I guess. Sure, Bioshock 1's really good. Atmospheric, yeah. yeah. I, would, I wouldn't really say it's scary, but it does I don't know, like, the intro of it was pretty, the entire I was, time. I was pretty creeped out and nervous at the beginning. It's, it's pretty atmospheric. I still so. like that one, that Andrew Ryan scene, still my favorite scene in probably any video game. It's pretty Whoa. good. It's a pretty strong scene. Don't spoil it, man. That game just came out on iPad. And the thing is, it only works once. After that, it's I know like... <laughs> that's that's what makes me sad. Like I I have a save to like literally load that point up if I didn't lose it in my hard drive corruption. Oh, I think people are correcting me that I think they're saying Unwound Future, which is the third Layton. Uh, I think that might have been the one with the <laughs> girl with the girlfriend. Okay. Anyway. Uh, that'll do it this week. Uh, people want to write questions in for next week. Top down perspective at gmail.com at TDP podcast on Twitter or the Facebook group. Just search top down perspective guys. What's your games of the week? Alien isolation smash. You're just smash. Really? I thought it was. Oh, Killer I, Queen. I, okay. You know what? Sorry. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you're right. Killer queen. No wind jammers, wind jammers. Okay. Wind jammers. It is. Are you going to get a home copy of it? It's five hundred dollars to do that. <laughs> do it, dude. No. This is it. I, do I had, it. It's the only chance very, I'll ever get I to play it. A very, <laughs> video game. Very, I had a very very short stint where I contemplated it, then looked up the actual cost to do this. I'm like, no, fuck that. For one game, it's but not then you were it. like, hey, I'm gonna need it for the video game museum anyway. Exactly. I'm not running Along a with the Wii Mini. <laughs> not yet. Like sooner or later, you will. Yeah. Okay, what would you rather do? What would you rather do? Buy a copy of Windjammers for $500 or buy three Wii Minis? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, it's which one would you rather do? Dollars cheaper to get yeah, the Wii it, Minis. It is. It, is that it's your answer? Is that the one you would go with? You were literally asking me, do you want to spend $200 more than you need to? I'm at, is, so, you're, your so you're saying like, I'm just saying cause, but then you have three Wii Minis I could just emulate wind jammers I'm just is, would you pick the Wii Mini or is that true $200 yes then you'd be that guy who bought three Wii Minis you didn't give me a choice still yeah you did the other choice is you buy wind jammers this is yeah a- but I, but that doesn't even account for the buying like the Neo Geo that's literally just the price of wind jammers okay how much is the Neo Geo Probably another two hundred. Okay, you. What? Here's your choice. Actually, you know what? Let's just in this hypothetical situation, you already have a Neo Geo. <laughs> you just you got one as a gift. Can I sell the extra Wii U's or Wii Minis? No. no. I just ha- I, I just felt like buying three Wii Minis and well, I'm stuck. In the, with yeah. You, you. In fact, you can't even like put them away. They always have to be like on your shelf. What? Like, they like in your entertainment cabinet. They always have to be there, as if you were like actively th- playing them. All three of them. All three of them. Which one would you do? You don't. Even, you don't have to play them. They just have to like be there. They don't even have to be plugged in. Okay, you don't even have to have the cables, but they have to be there. So if someone came over, they'd be like, "You're still playing the Wii." Okay. My, my Wii is actually hooked up, though. Okay, but this is three. You have three. I guess four if you still want to hook you up. Have to ha- you have to have them all hooked up. No, no. I, I, I already said he didn't have to have them hooked up. They just have to be dumb. there. They just have to be taking up three spots on his entertainment center. Can you rotate them out, though? <laughs> no, like if that's one... the thing. Is they, they always have to be prominent. Does one always have to be plugged in, at least? No. I, in my scenario, I'm saying no. 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 You are way too lenient. I'm just saying. Are you still going with the Wii Minis? Fine. It'll be Wind Jammers. See, I, I, have, I wasn't being that lenient. 
Clearly, it's bizarre yeah. restrictions on buying three of a thing I don't need. Perfect. So next week we'll hear John talk about windjammers, and he will show some proof <laughs> that it? he purchased it. I did not. I did not have the, the receipt. Will be on the site, so you can see it for yourself. <laughs> Fucking hate you guys. Sometimes. Hey, it's an investment towards the John Wheeler. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> John, it'd be like the Wheeler's uh, video game emporium. <laughs> Get some nice glass cabinets, you know, make it real fancy and classy. Uh, mine was Borderlands. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's the end of the show. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Bye. <laughs>